It's time for Don and Ron. You won't get this anywhere else. All right, welcome to another episode of Don and Ron. Today we're going to be talking about the jack screws on a J3's Cub, what you need to look for uh, when one gets worn out so that you can get it replaced. And when you're putting it back together, make sure it's not for sure worn out. One of the things we wanted to kind of talk about was this little guy. If you look at it, come a little closer, this thing was really full of grease and was nice and tight, or appeared to be tight, it was very stiff because it had such old grease in it. But look how much play after it's been cleaned up. It's amazing, even the up and down play. So definitely an unacceptable jack screw and yoke right here. Um, it's kind of interesting. This is another example. This is an older one, but with a new jack screw in it. Come a little bit closer again, and you can see there's absolutely no play because the yoke itself is in good shape, but the problem is, is right over here, is the jack screw threads themselves. If you look at them, you can even almost get real close. You can see they're kind of rounded a little bit, and they're just wore out, and so, if you look inside of a brand new yoke, it has a steel bushing at the top and then threads down the side of it. So the outside of this, the threaded area, actually rides snug in that bushing, okay? So that's why you get a lot of side to side play is when the sides of the jack screw wears and the bushing itself wears. And then it's got threads down the side of it, steel threads. So the combination of the two pieces is what's caused the, the problem. What we find a lot of times is lack of maintenance. Lack of maintenance, people just go in there and they will take and put, they'll take grease, which we use a white lithium grease, if you see it right there. And we use just a regular acid brush. And when we get through cleaning one of these, because that's what you should do every annual, is you should go in here, you can put rags down inside of your fuselage, take your little covers off your yoke, and you need to run this thing up and down. Use a, use a rag with cleaner on it and clean all the way down inside these grooves of this jack screw. And you wanna run it up and down, up and down until you can get all that old grease out of it. And then once you've done that, then you can apply a new coat of grease onto the jack screw. And I just simply take a brush, an acid brush, okay, like that right there. And while you have somebody running it up and down, you simply just take the brush and let it go around as people is rotating it up and down. And you want to get that grease. You don't want a lot of grease in there. You just want enough to coat it. And the lithium doesn't run down and off the jack screw like regular grease does. But it, you just put a nice little coating inside of there. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And once we do that, then we know we're good to go and because we don't have a bunch of grit in there, which is the big killer of these things, people will keep that old grease in there and it attracts grit and it acts like a sandpaper on the screw itself and inside of the yoke. One of the things that we do is we take the denatured alcohol on a rag and we'll like I say, basically use it like you're using a shoe shine rag and we'll reach in there, wrap it around the jack screw and just run it up and down and we'll clean that grease out. It takes a few minutes when you do your annual, but it's the best thing that you can do. Get that grease, get that grit out of there and apply a new coat of lithium on it with a, just a simple acid brush. But because again, you don't want this right here. Again, come a little bit closer. I mean, this baby is actually, this, this slap wore out. I mean, it's up and down play and now your trim doesn't work right. It gets bound up because it, it gets crooked in there. And then if you take, a new jack screw and a new yoke, absolutely no play in this thing. So when you grab your horizontal and try to lift up and down, um, you shouldn't have hardly any play in that. Um, and by keeping lithium on there, well, that's another thing we do. Again, like I say, we don't want that grease running down the jack screw and onto the pulley. Because when it gets onto the pulley, then it gets onto the, the trim, uh, the cable, the trim cable, brain damage guys today. It gets on the trim cable and it starts slipping. You want that pulley and that trim cable to be dry. You want it to be cleaned. Another thing you can do with denatured alcohol is run that trim cable up and down in the front. Have somebody hold a rag on the trim cable. Watch out for where the splice is. 
and clean that thing and make sure that it's dry so that it doesn't slip on your trim pulley. A lot of people will complain how they're flying along and they can't trim their airplane. Well, that's because the jack screw is either bound up and too tight, can't move, or it's got so much grease and glob of greases on it that now the pulley and the cable, they're slipping. So you can't trim the airplane until you slow, really slow down or we're on, you're on the ground when you got no pressure on the elevator itself. So that's our little tip for us today. Just want to talk about jack screws and we'll talk on our next video of how to replace one in an airplane that's already covered. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to uh, Don and Ron. Mm-hmm.